It's very easy to get confused about which foods are healthy to consume and which ones aren't. Especially nowadays with the food industry trying to sell us everything they can't. Most of these not healthier than cancer. Let me give you an example. They've been telling us that fruit juices are some of the best beverages we can consume. The problem with this is that most of them are not even made with real fruits in the first place. They're telling us that soy is one of the healthiest grains on the planet, and the truth is that it's one of the most aggressive hormone disruptors there is. So in today's video, I'm gonna reveal five of the worst foods you should be avoiding every single day to stay healthy, naturally and effectively. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, I treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need a line of appointment of quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and stay till the end of this video where I'm going to share extra tips and video links related to this topic. 50 years ago, no one would have ever imagined that eating healthy would be so confusing. And the truth of the matter is that it really shouldn't. Some of the things that make eating so confusing is the incredible amount of pesticides, additives, and genetically modified foods that have completely changed the way we look at foods. 50 years ago, the tampering of our grains and fruits was not even close to what it is today. And in the past couple years, we've seen how a great number of foods of all sorts are now starting to cause many health conditions. And obviously, they are far from desirable. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal five of the worst foods you should be avoiding every single day to stay healthy, naturally and effectively. Number one, processed cereals. I don't know if you knew this, but processed cereals in general are for the most part made of genetically modified grains. These include, for example, breakfast cereals that may contain wheat, corn, rice, and even oatmeal. They're extremely popular and we've all had them at one point or another. Children usually love them and they usually eat it with milk, which is a second bombshell to our health. Now to make matters even worse, they usually come with an incredible amount of added sugar to them. Some are so sweet that they could even be compared to candy. Now think about this, one food source with three toxic substances, an incredible amount of sugar, milk, and genetically modified foods. Now if you're wondering if eliminating this food source really makes a difference, well it does. Hundreds of new studies are evaluating the health risk associated with eating these types of food or processed food sources. So when you eat, try to look for real food sources. This is very, very important. If you need a supplement form that can help you detoxify your body and keep your digestive system healthy, free of health conditions and free of inflammation, look for GI Balance, ProBillion and Thistolescence from Finland at DrLandivar.com. Number two, conventional milk. To understand why milk shouldn't be consumed by humans, let's go back to the basics. Cow milk is for a calf, meaning cow babies, not human babies. Now the human body does have the ability to digest human breast milk when we're babies. It produces an enzyme called lactase that has the ability to digest lactose found in human breast milk. Now the problem is that as we get older, the human body decreases lactase production simply because we should be transitioning to a normal diet. This is the reason why most people experience lactose intolerance, for example. The human body has no way of breaking down milk naturally, which later causes gas, bloating, stomach cramps, and even diarrhea. So be careful you should not be consuming cow milk. Cow milk, once again, is not for human consumption. If you're having problems with digestion, maybe proteins or things you're digesting every single day, and you need something effective against gas, bloating, and indigestion, look for D-enzymes from Finland at DrLandivar.com. D-enzymes contains more than 18 different digestive enzymes and an excellent concentration of each one of them to improve digestion and health overall. Number three, cooking oils. Try not to consume hydronated oils, the ones we're used to consuming. 
These are vegetable oils, including corn, sunflower, canola oil, which are highly inflammatory and not healthy at all. These oils are usually prepared with genetically modified grains and partially hydrogenated in the process to make them end up in your shelves. And not only that, because hundreds of studies have found that there's an important link between vegetable oil consumption and a long list of health conditions, including birth defects, diabetes, cancer, digestive disorders, heart disease, obesity, sexual dysfunction, skin reactions, vision reduction, high cholesterol, and much, much more. The list goes on and on. And by the way, this group of foods is probably one of the worst you can consume. So by all means, try not to use them. Now I know that we all need oils to cook at home. I recommend you use pure, cold, and pressed extra virgin oil for cooking. And then after that, you can use olive oil, you can use linseed oil, and any other oil that is not hydrogenated, but cold press. Number four, soy. If you are reading your labels every single day, you'll notice that most processed and packaged foods contain soy. Soy is another very important damaging food that you should be avoiding. And that most of the time is not good for us, especially if you are male. You see, contrary to popular belief, soy products are not healthy at all. Most soy grown today is genetically modified. And they do this for the plant to withstand the application of toxic insecticides that you will be eating later on. So be careful with soy. The consumption of long-term soy dietary supplements of all sorts, including proteins, will cause allergic rhinitis, asthma, breast cancer, kidney disease, andrometal cancer. Apart from being dangerous, soy is a phytoestrogen, which is the most important part, meaning it accelerates the production of estrogen in both men and women, which men do not obviously lead it, need it as much. By the way, elevated estrogen levels should not be elevated or in women or men. It's not healthy at all. Number five, processed meats. Most people have no idea how modern meats are produced today. If I could personally show you how these cows and chickens are raised to serve as foods, believe me, you would not want to eat them. Just to picture the problem, cows are raised in confined squares of two meters by one meaning approximately seven feet by three. And they defecate and they live in this same spot their entire life. Chickens, on the other hand, are fed 24 hours a day in closed spaces with artificial lights and they don't let them sleep for them to eat and grow as fast. They're kept awake 24 hours of the day to be fed continuously. Now, apart from all this, chicken, cows, and even pork are continuously given antibiotics and hormones to make them grow even faster and obviously to avoid infections. So now, do you really think this is a healthy meal? Of course not. You're eating all types of antibiotics, medications, hormones, and substances that later on will destroy your health. New studies show that people who eat processed meats, and these include fast food meats, maybe meats that come from farm animals that are confined in spaces, will have later on problems with health conditions like colon cancer, diabetes, heart disease, etc. So if you can, try to consume real foods like I mentioned at the beginning. And how about the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or align on the point, visit drlandivar.com and check out these other videos related to this topic you'd find information that might prevent a serious condition in the future. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you soon.